Hey everyone, welcome back to another episode of Boot and Wildlife. The white-tailed deer is a majestic and graceful creature that has become an iconic species here in the USA. These deer are famous among outdoor and wildlife enthusiasts. The estimated lifespan of the white-tailed deer is about six years of age in the wild. In those six years, a single individual will go through multiple different life stages. It bewilders me that a fragile little speckled fawn may one day grow into a large, majestic buck. Today, we are going to be looking at the whitetail at different stages of its life. So be sure to subscribe, and hope you guys enjoy. Spring is the season of life. It is the best time to see baby animals, including white-tailed deer. White-tailed breeding season took place this previous autumn, so many of the does are carrying fawns. Early in the spring season, many of the deer are shedding their winter coats. The bucks drop their antlers due to a decrease in testosterone. One interesting thing to note is that those sheds are chewed up by rodents such as chipmunks. They do this in order to obtain calcium. From mid-April to late June, fawns are born. These little guys can stand up about 10 minutes after birth and can walk within seven hours. The babies of many other hooved animals also learn to walk within hours of their birth. Those can have about one to three fawns per year. During the summer, the fawns learn all about the wild world around them. They may wean after three to four months. At this age, they will eat the same food as their mother, which includes grass, twigs, leaves, fruits, flowers, moss, and fungi. These deer have also been known to feed on the infamous poison ivy. The most iconic feature of the fawn are the various white spots scattered across their body. The purpose of these spots is to help the babies camouflage in the forest underbrush. The fawns will remain with their mother for the remainder of the summer. Those who do not give birth in the spring spend their summers searching for food in thick forests. The bucks slowly start to grow back their antlers. The antlers are surrounded by a layer of velvet, which provides nutrition that helps them grow. As the days grow cooler and shorter, the leaves begin to transform into a variety of vibrant colors. The deer's coats change from reddish brown to grayish brown in order to camouflage. The buck's antlers are fully grown and their testosterone levels rise in preparation for the breeding season. The fawns replace their spotted summer coats with a patternless winter coat. The male fawns grow little nubs, which will one day grow into antlers. They are known as button bucks. 
since they are not sexually mature, the button bucks spend the autumn months searching for food. Beginning in October, the deer's breeding season, more commonly known as the rut, is one of the most important times in the life of these deer. The bucks are constantly on the move during this time of the year, as they search for does. The buck will also mark their territory through the use of scrapes and rubs. Scrapes and rubs are good signs that a buck is in the area. Buck scrapes are an area of exposed earth near an overhanging branch. A buck rub is when a buck violently rubs their forehead and antlers against a tree. Both of these signs excite hunters and whitetail enthusiasts. During this time of the year, the bucks will rarely eat. They are much more focused on finding does. Sometimes, they can even be seen chasing does in order to see if they are ready to breed. When a doe is in heat, it means that they are ready to breed. They will attract bucks with their strong scented urine called estrus. During the rut, bucks grow extremely aggressive. This doe has an injured leg, most likely due to an overly aggressive buck. The lifespan of the whitetail is only about six years in the wild. Deer don't typically live out their entire lifespan. They may be killed by disease, natural predation, or by humans. When the deer dies, it will provide food for hundreds of creatures, including foxes, birds, and even people. From personal experience, I can say that venison is a very appetizing food. This is very good. What do you think about the deer, the venison? Very good. Every death is replaced with life, and by springtime, a new fawn will be born, and the cycle will repeat itself. White-tailed deer are extremely common and can be found all over the United States. In order to film this episode, I spent around two years in the woods tracking these incredible animals so that I could capture their various life stages. If you enjoyed this video, leave a like and comment below any questions you might have about the white-tailed deer. Be sure to subscribe to see new wild adventures.